Uh, Matei would like to go with Ewok Village and get rid of all those shields that Ray would like to have on her. Yeah, I, I can't help but think that um, the battle Mads, will make a big difference in this yeah, game. Yeah, Mads cares a lot more about how this goes. He doesn't want Ewok uh, Ewok Village here, thanks to Ray's ability. Yeah, and then Ayla is here primarily for her special, but that does not help when you're rolling out for the battlefield. <coughs> yeah, we've seen a number of times with some of these these heavy special chaining decks that just have an impressively terrible role for their battlefield control because of all those specials. A lot of Yoda, Hondo, things like that that just don't get a lot of choice of their battlefield. Yeah, I'm sure so someone can do the math for us and get the exact uh, odds of any given number on the dice here. But uh, the So, looks like Mads, he's got a handcrafted there. He's got, I think that's guard. Caution. Altar. Reaping the crystal. Well, here we're, we're seeing uh, the mulligan here at this point. Yeah. And we have uh, Matei is holding on to a lightsaber pole and overconfidence. Close quarters. Now that close quarters, do, do they both have that? Or is just just Matei running that? Matt has close quarters assault, two of them. So they this matchup, if you can get you know three or four dice showing melee damage, getting rid of their hand is just a great way to slow them down. And with all of the lightsabers and the natural faces, that is definitely a thing to consider. And you see Mate is holding on to his, set up for an early early turn of discard. And it looks like Mads is coming off of a victory against Boa 7th in the top 16. So he's going to be on familiar ground here. And hopefully pretty comfortable up against them. <coughs> and we'll get the mulligan going here and then the roll off to see who goes first. So like, like I said, I think uh, Mads cares more about Battlefield here. Yeah. Because the uh, Matei here, he can definitely still benefit from the Obi-Wan's hut. Getting shields for Seventh Sister. Seventh Sister, the first time I think she's appeared on the stream so far, and a little surprising because of she, like, she's been touted as as a big thing for villain decks, uh, appearing in the one turn kill decks and appearing with Boba Seventh Sister. She has that kind of free extra die there with the Seeker Droid, which she'll roll in every time. A lot of mileage out of her. Uh, is he running any more Seeker Droids? I don't think no, so. No, no, this is, this is all lightsabers all the time. On both sides of these, actually. Trying to get those big numbers out there for Boba Fett's special, too. And then the other primary uh, upgrade in this is Force Illusion on both sides. Yeah, both of these players are running, too. Every deck so far. It's, it's uh, one of the reasons I think the blue characters have been so popular throughout this tournament, just being able to remove any amount of damage from one source. So four for Mads. And Looks like four for Matei as well, so they're going to have to roll off. And that is a good roll. Well, that's four again four, for yeah. Mads. The special kind of well, ruined it. That, that is what uh, Mads wanted. Yeah, so if you're Mads, going to go for the uh, Ewok going? Village. That is surprising. So I, th I think he's just hoping that he will get the, oh. the shields quick enough. Well, it let's Ray start with it. It's the it first, first turn damage. And maybe he's hoping he's able to claim fast enough. I don't know. That one I'm not sure of, but uh, but of course, I am not in the top eight here. Of the two decks, I do believe that the, the Ray Alo deck is, tends to be faster. Oh, something's going on with the names here. We'll get that fixed, guys. Don't worry. Seventh Sister has those three dice there because uh, she gets to roll in her two dice for being elite, as well as an ID9 secret droid die. That's her actually print her printed ability. Uh, every time you roll her in, you get to roll one of those dice in. It is the little spidery droid thing that works alongside the Seventh Sister. And of course, it becomes stronger for each one you roll in. Yes. But there are yeah. no others in here at this time. The value of that die is determined by the number of that type of die in the pool. But it's going to be pretty much stuck at a one this game because not a lot of ways to get more in. So then we have here an Heirloom lightsaber, and then a lightsaber <coughs> pull for an ancient. And they're just moving along, setting up. 
Here we go. And Get a one ping damage for somewhere. the damage with Ray's ability. And he's going after Seventh Sister. Let's see. Seventh Sister a little easier to kill. Right. And they looked at this, and um, he knows that Matei, because they looked at the deck list, you know that Matei is not running uh, a lot of the healing that we've seen in other decks. Yeah, the villains have a little bit less access to it, but yeah, with no Rise Again, no Witch Magic, he's got those Ancient Lightsabers, but that's really all. On the other side, really not much for the heroes here either. No, and then... I would say Ancient Lightsaber and Force Illusion showing up in so many of these decks. The exception being, of course, uh, Ezra and Sabine. Just because with all yellow, no opportunity to include them, but almost everybody else has them in some way. The Ancient Lightsaber is just doing double work with good damage faces and that healing. And we saw that used to great effect in that last game to really seal Edwin the win, able to heal up at will and win the tiebreaker against uh, Tobias of Germany. So actually, these are our two, only two international contenders left in the tournament. Uh, you know, Mads the Dane and Matei the Canadian. Only one of them can uh, advance to face four or three other Americans in the top four. Yeah, that was just a, a quirk of how the pairings played out. So <laughs> the, the international crowd is going to be probably rooting for one of these so players to go on. But we get to disrupt, two ranged, and uh, plus three melee damage, which will pair nicely with that seventh sister. It does not look like uh, Mads has the control for it because he's rolling in Ayla. Not this and round. All the money in the world. Well... So if, if you are Mads, do you take one round and just set it up and have all that you need for all of your upgrades in the future rounds? Ooh, close quarters assault. Kills With. the rest of Mads' hand. Close quarters assault, of course, a great he does, card. He does take the money. Yeah, he does. Well, he had no cards yeah, he had to... Yeah, no option. No <laughs> well, and now he'll be able to claim that battlefield that he chose and keep his shields. Well, well, he's I not mean, keeping he's, his he's shields. Gonna, no, he's going to lose the shields <laughs> that way. Yeah, true. Unless, well, I mean, if Matei is focusing on well, one character. We are, we he are may have one shield. already at six damage there yeah, with the opportunity to reroll a couple of these. He'll probably have one shield on one character because I don't see Matei splitting that up. Yeah. Okay, there we go up to eight, nine damage. There might be one character remaining. <laughs> no, there's... And I mean, I go, I go for Ray here to take her shield to turn off her ability and because she doesn't have any healing at the moment, whereas uh, Ayla has the Ancient in play. That is a solid opening damage pool. Yep, and starting in on Ray here. And Mads has no hand, so... No way to respond at all. Has he, he has not claimed it? There it is. Nope. Just, just insult to injury. I just wanted to check. You get no cards, right? All right, well, that heirloom uh, is redeploy when it's on a blue character. <laughs> you know, thanks for small graces there. Not looking great for that start for Mads. Now, remember, right. best of three. So even a crushing defeat right away does not mean the end of your tournament. <coughs> so you find yourself in this position where you're looking at that, and you realize it's best of three. Yeah, you're down in a big hole. Do you try to take a big risk here? I mean, like going with Ray, that's a smart thing. Get her dice in. Uh, I, I think that it would not be a bad time to take a risky move. I don't know that uh, Mads has a good risky move available to him. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea. You're also not to the point where you just want to scoop and go to the game two yet because you've got tons of time left on the clock. You're only True. five minutes into this game. So you might as well play it out for a while. Oh, Seven Sister with a solid <laughs> roll. Wow. Brutal. That I'm going to discard two of your cards before you just cut me down where I stand. As, oh. It's an altar and a force illusion, looks like. That, that will help get the damage in, provided Ayla can do all that work herself. Yep. 
And now, knowing that you can kill Ray at will, you don't have to yet. I mean, he's waiting for that redeploy to, 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 ready to use Ayla. So I would maybe just roll in Boba Fett. If he could control it, he would have. Yeah. What does Let's what does Matt have here greedy. that he might be able to use? I mean, guard or something, but he doesn't have a you know a melee face in there. So right. There we go. <laughs> Puts in two. Even, even closer. Just wants a Matt little roll in. A Luke's lightsaber, a Shoto. Synchronicity. I don't know if it can be two Shotos. Close quarters assault, and I think that's destiny. Destiny, the game, the card named after the game itself. But none of those going to help in this situation. No. So Mads knows Matei is just waiting for the uh, for Ayla to roll in before Ray goes down to that last bit of damage. So he's looking to see what he can do, what plays he can make before <coughs> he activates Ayla. With all the resources, he should have something. There it is. So Luke's lightsaber. Ayla is going to be an absolute monster when that heirloom redeploys. Yeah. So is this where we see Boba Fett come in at this point? No. He's got feel your anger. He's got a backup muscle. Oh, man. Throw the backup muscle down so you just so you have it in play. That is the... That's an that's a on-demand dead ray. That's, that's a... Beautiful stall move, too, into it. But he, he goes in with a Boba Fett here. Yeah, I don't think there's a downside just rolling Boba in. And start in on Ayla and still threaten the kill on Ray. And another two blasters on that. Or even, you resolve all your damage on Ayla now, make him think that you can't kill Ray. And then back up muscle. Because he thinks, oh, I'm going to go another turn with her. Okay, so money. now he's taking the resource. Okay. Now the writing's definitely on the wall. Ro on the wall. Ray is going down. Oh. <laughs> <Shoto>. <laughs> We're just not going to worry about the heirloom. We're just going to put All on right. I mean, another lightsaber. I think that uh, if I'm Matei, I'm okay with that. She's going to get a third weapon anyways. This way he had to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Now Ayla comes out, and you can still drop Ray as oh, oh man. That is, uh, that is rough. <laughs> That's not what uh, Mads wanted to see. He's got just three cards in hand. Synchronicity, not able to work right now. He's got a guard, I think. But that won't stop Ray from dying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh painful. All right. Feel your anger. Feel your anger. We're going to count three, three of blanks, and then we're going to remove three of them. Uh, I think we're going to remove Luke's lightsaber and the Shoto and the ancient lightsaber. Or maybe not the ancient lightsaber. Yeah, uh, man. Well, uh, there, there are certainly um, it's variables in these games and uh, Mads will be hoping that, that some of the variables that went against him will be evening out in the second game. Yeah, I mean, re-rolling Ayla into her special is pretty good, so I, I don't disagree with removing her dice. Uh, there we go. So yeah, now I use the two damage before... Uh, before that gets changed by Ayla. Ayla can't, unfortunately, get any more damage out of that to one die. The Shoto doesn't have a plus two, or a two side unmodified. Yeah, but, but her special is good just for changing uh, the Ancient Lightsaber of the Seventh Sister. Just holding on to that for a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Someone <laughs> in the chat says, it's like watching Order 66 all <laughs> over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're not wrong. Well. So two damage on sister now? Ooh. 
So Matei has got what? One card? Two cards in hand? Uh, I'm looking. It looks like one. Looks like one. So I just resolve what I've got. Take the shields and everything because you know whatever you change it to, whatever you reroll to, Ayla's just going to mess with it. <coughs> Remember, this is not curtains for Mads, even if this is a blowout round, because it is best two of three. Oh, there, there he yep. Back up muscle to kill the ray. It's a tough choice. I mean, do you want to lose the shield production? Do you want to lose the potential healing? Oh, he keeps... Yeah. I think he's looking at the Shoto lightsaber, possibly Luke's lightsaber, probably most likely the Shoto is the replacement option, but that shield is going to be necessary if he's going to be in this game. Yeah, he needs every bit of health he can get. And I'm resolving the last... Oh. Uh, Snake Doctor 25 asking about the other decks going in right now. Uh, there is at least one Sabine Ezra in the top eight here. That's piloted by Mike Gem. Mike Gem. Uh, I don't have all the other lists here in front of me because OP has those, but... When we get him back, we will kind of give you an update. Well, at this point in time, Mads activates first, and... It's going to roll a lot of gonna, dice. He's going to need big rolls here. That's... That's solid. Not bad. Yeah, you're kidding. He can chain those into quite a bit of damage. What's best case? He's got the money, Luke's so eight damage. can get a three. Damage. Yep. He can get eight damage out of that pretty easily. Plus but change now two let's of... Look, uh, let's see what do we see for Matei's hand here. He's got a lightsaber pull, Maul's lightsaber. I didn't see as much disruption in this one, the control. No. But there well, may have been something back in there. Would serve him well after that last round where he just destroyed Mad's turn. And Matei's looking human here for a second with this roll. He's going to have to work on getting the rerolls for the damage. We saw Maul's lightsaber in Matei's hand. I can't help but wonder if he should have popped the ancient a turn before then Miller redeploy the handcraft or the uh, heirloom. Just yeah. Just to get the healing. Ooh, Possible there we go. there. There's a couple of cards Discard out of Matei's hand. Oh, and then lose? Mauls and the lightsaber pull. That is big. That's all right. We got it, guys. Okay, so now we see... Um, what, what are we looking at in Matei's hand there? In Matei's hand, he's got a binds all things, a bait and switch, and an intimidate. So, yeah. Mads doesn't know, but he, he's going to be able to get his damage through on this round. So I think Mads wants to wait and see if Bubba rolls anything he needs to control with Ayla Special, because he can chain an Alter 2, and there we go. And there's a good candidate, 2 melee. So you can pop one of those and then wait for the reroll and see if you need to control another one. So uh, there there need to be bacon to answer your question. Uh, in, even in X-Wing, we don't necessarily just show the number one seed. We show what games we think will be interesting and have some variety. So uh, if you guys just wait around a top four, there's a good chance you will get your wish to see the players you want to see. But we're trying to show people from different countries, different decks, all sorts of things like that. So, Yeah, we just saw the uh, Elite Kylo, Elite Anakin. Um, and... Uh, Ron Talzin, or was that a game before? Yeah. I'm sorry, they're yeah. all blending together. So <laughs> we're seeing some different deck archetypes here. Yes. Uh, different play styles. These are these are a couple of decks that are just damage faces on the characters, except for Ayla here, who has the, the more control option. Typically. So picking here typically. what he wants to do. Binds all things, not really with something you want to play here after the first couple of rounds. So yeah, good candidate for a reroll. Into not a whole lot. 
And there's only one reroll left on that. Here's Synchronicity. Synchronicity. Two unblockable, two sisters, so she's got uh, only five health left and one shield. And one of those was taken out of Maz's hand earlier. That's uh, such a great econ economical damage option. Yes. Unblockable for zero resources. Just need the dice face just showing, and with Ayla's special and all of the shields and the melee on the dice that he's got available to him, it's a really good chance of that coming through. Six health left and a shield. My math, you know, not always great. <coughs> Going through one card left for Mads in his hand. He can still chain into pretty good damage, though. Or do you just keep the one shield on the Shoto? You got, you got, uh, one, you got one lightsaber showing. You can chain Luke's to a plus three. Yeah. yeah. And then you keep the one shield and hopefully go in with two shields against two characters. Only problem is if you take that shield and he claims it was for nothing. True. Yeah, and it, Mate with uh, hmm. oh, he's going interesting. He's got the money to do the three for one, but I, don't uh, know. I think maybe he's waiting for Mate to claim against that one shield. Could be. He's got just the one card. I didn't get a chance to see what it was there. Well, see, now, now you're getting to the point where... And he's got the resources and he's got the ancient lightsaber. He can get back to full health on Ayla. Yeah. Although you, you've also now crossed the point where he, he's now spent almost a full game's time on this. So if he does lose... You know, he doesn't have any extra time for the for the next two games. Ah, the special. Yep, using Ayla's ability, you got to fulfill as much as possible. So you need to turn the Seven Sister die to something else. And then trigger Luke's lightsaber special for some additional damage. <laughs> Mate is weighing the resource disruption versus claiming. There you go. Claiming. Remove the line. one shield. <coughs> Mads will get his shield back. And heal up with the ancient lightsaber. Yep. So that was kind of the res resolution he wanted there. Getting to wait around. He did not have an upgrade in hand for it. No. Let's see what he gets here. Was that Caution. Yeah, caution at this point in time. Good for a reroll. Got or an heirloom or raise lightsaber. Both of those good options. He's he's got plenty of money. I think raise lightsaber comes out for the shields. Or shield. Yeah, they'll get soaked. Uh, they'll, they'll take the damage this turn before they are removed by claiming, anyways. And on the other side, that's a cross guard lightsaber on top there. Also have a force misdirection here for Mads. That could be very useful. And, and raise lightsaber goes down. Force misdirection in particular, potential for a blowout if a lot of damage, uh, melee damage is rolled. There's a cross guard on both lightsaber. Sides here. So cross guard come out and should do one damage. <coughs> Did we miss the one damage? It looks that way. Well, now Mads' dice are, are certainly. Ooh. Coming in hotter than Mate's on this one. Yeah, and there's the potential Averaging for up. the force misdirection here. Even a good use that. of a hidden motive. There we go. He's okay with that. Plenty of chances to re-roll that into what he needs. Oh, what? Oh. Mm. Just looking for the base. I guess. Base damage. And it's there on Ayla. Yeah, that's a net no well, the special will help on Luke's lightsaber. He's got uh sister dead if he wants right now. What are we looking at? We have profitable connection. What? Intimidate oh in, in Mate's hand. Oh oh bait and switch. 
Uh, bait, bait and, and switch, switch and intimidate. There you go. So good for three damage there. That's a full mileage intimidate. And going to go ahead and just take the sister out. That uh, ID9 secret droid die will stay because it's not one of her character dice. <coughs> oh, yeah, the uh, damage for cross guard is only when you play it on Kylo. Oh. Nice uh, roll solid. by Boba Fett. And now the misdirection less useful and not able to be played right now. Ooh. The overconfidence used on one of his and one of his own dice. That that was not backfired the a result bit he there. was looking for. I like that. That's a that's a, a low percentage, but but high impact play if it works. Oh, here. Bait and switch. Bait and this switch is going to hurt. This is a big roll there. Yeah. What does he have? He's got that force misdirection, but no base and not the money to then pay for it. Then you resolve it. What? He's got another. There's another bait and switch. Oh. This is going to get ugly. This is a I see seven damage showing already. He would, does he go to a. He went to a special. Special, which is two. Ouch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs one more damage. <coughs> What do we have in One Mads hour, hand? seven minutes left. Uh, and Mads' hand did not see. Well, Mads is uh, definitely putting up a good fight after that just brutal opening turn. But here we have... Uh, oh. They roll off again into two specials. Backup okay. muscle. Backup muscle would have given that uh, the one more he needed. It's still going to be hard for, for Mads to make it through the next round. Oh, absolutely. All right. So that secret droid's not going to be able to provide a lot for Mate. Use Ayla. Turn it into... Yeah. Well, uh, Luke's saber can also be used to get shield, not just the unblockable damage. So, right. I think that's what he's gonna. Oh no! All right, going straight for the damage. Only two health remaining on Ayla. And this must be. And uh, I think you have to claim, has yeah. no cards. I don't see any cards in his hand now. He's got. He's played so, some through. Yeah, he can't reroll, so he's gonna get to the next uh, screen here, but. We're hoping for, Mads is hoping for a roll here to get 9, 10 so damage through. Force speed, I mean, guard, caution. Guard can help, but you're going to need to activate right away and and, and hold him off here. Mate has just pulled an ancient lightsaber and fuel your anger. So Shoto will give him a shield. He rolled good damage there. In fact, not all that far off of enough. That's 7. Seven, eight, nine, eight. So it'd be three damage left on Boba Fett. <coughs> That's a good start. Only Mads was sitting on a bait and switch. Oh, Mateo already has one ancient lightsaber. He could heal up now or after the roll. Anytime he doesn't see. 10 damage coming at him. Here comes the second one. Yeah. Good to have it down. So you're able to heal up two twice if needed. And it makes you that much more dangerous on the rollout. Oh. There we see he doesn't like you in Matei's hand. No, but remember, uh, Mads has guard. That's going to let him remove three dice with that plus three. Just and waiting, he is waiting for the roll to come through. Approaching lethal damage there. Oh, that's, now that, that's it, right? That he's showing it. So he's yeah. gonna have to heal. That's ten damage there. That that's a good way to force your opponent to put an ancient lightsaber back in their deck.
So you heal up, and yeah, you're going to be at two health left, so. I don't, I didn't see anything that would be an option for him not to make that play. That is a toughie. That Which kind of roll really puts the pressure on. It's also a great way to uh, take damage away from your opponent by forcing one of their dice back into their deck. Yes. Now, had that should have gone to a plus two, that would be lethal, I think, regardless. Except for, yeah, hidden oh, motive. okay. Interesting. Oh. So it goes away. All right. Matei proving he still has options. He's got a he doesn't like you with no dice in the pool. It's not going to help him. Yeah, he... I didn't see that hidden motive. That was a great, great option. Keeps, keeps the ability to put the damage through, which is what he obviously wants to do. He wants to get a big roll from Boba Fett and just finish this off. But he has to make sure he can survive whatever Mads is throwing <coughs> at him. Yeah. He's just getting further away. He needs to put All right. three through. Although that looks like he's going to have it. Real glad he didn't have to heal there. And what's that? Oh, you said. Yeah, did we see a guard earlier? Is that what are we seeing here? There is a guard, I think. Misdirection spotted a melee to remove two melee. Ooh. That was that was a big card. Yeah, that's good. He still has two of the damage he needs. And he doesn't like so you. So there's still a guard. I mean, you can guard and just completely shut down his turn here. But not now. So is it just me, or if he re-rolls into damage on Boba, the sev the I backup muscle can finish her off? Yes, it's not just you. Uh, Mads is just—I think that's that big risk play that Mads is making. To I think he should have sat on one of those to guard if needed. Well, he's—he's—I believe he's feeling that if he doesn't get damage through on Boba Fett, it doesn't matter. That That is one line of thinking. Yeah, I mean, I would have resolved one, kept the other one just in case, because if that reroll goes well, it's curtains. And Mate nope, has no still cards a hand, so That's it. This is going to survive at... Uh, so he'll kill the money, do two damage. He's going to have one health left. He might as well. So activate and get a shield. And... Uh, hmm. Here comes the healing. It paid off for uh, for Mads there, but man, just barely. <coughs> you heal right now? I mean, that's yeah. a safe bet. Then he has to force that same agonizing choice about how to use your dice early. You got to remember to lose one of those ancient lightsaber die. Although, yep, I'm sure that they will not forget that. All right, we're we seeing. Another cross guard. He doesn't like you. Close quarters. On the other side, I see a force illusion. Now, that could be useful. Another hidden motive, I think. Force speed. Guard is still there. He's got that for this turn, at least. Force illusion can be useful, but what are you going to lose for it? That's, that's a tough thing. You use whatever you have to use to use the guard first. So you guard it and then lose the, uh, then lose the card. Like Luke's lightsaber with the ability to guard away three. Oh, there we go. That'll that'll do it. I don't. Well, did you see healing on on uh, Matt's side? Doesn't look like it. I think that second backup muscle is going to seal the deal for Matei. That changes the math a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> Shields don't matter. Your guard doesn't matter. It's one damage on a Can character kill with him nine right damage now. and ten, ten health. But they had to be digging for that, knowing that he... That's his sure thing. That'll do it. Be on to game two. All right, so we burned uh, about 30 minutes there. 31 minutes on that. There's about an hour left. We're going to stop the clock, it sounds like. According to Nick there. Oh, 
There we go. So they're going to get ready. Uh, I mean, I feel like nobody has a distinct advantage in this matchup. They're both pretty straightforward. It's not like we're looking at mill versus support or anything like that. But what a way to hold on for for losing Ray that quickly. Yeah, Mads, Mads showing why he was uh, getting into this game, why he's in the top yes. 16, top 8, why he's playing for the top 4, <laughs> coming back from something that's just a devastating opening round. Indeed. So quick break here for the players to go freshen up. Uh, they're going to have a whole other hour of solid destiny play in front of them. Um, let's talk. Well, I don't have the top 16 list in front of me, so the top 8 lists. Oh, we have. There so. we go. So uh, Mike Gem, we know, is running Ezra and Sabine. He's up against David Hausnecht. Can we get the list? Uh, we have Edwin Chen, who we just saw playing uh, with he had Kylo and Anakin. Kylo and Anakin. Up against Johnson Go, Mads and Matei, which we are watching, and Joe Cologne, who's running a sort of hybrid support dish deck, it looked like, up against Brendan DeVitt. That's our top eight at the moment. And we'll be getting reports from those games as soon as we get those. Yes. Yeah, we were working on getting the lists and uh, so we can talk a little bit about the matchups and also updates as they come in. But don't worry. The stream you guys see is just, uh, I don't know, a minute or so delayed behind the, the actual action. So don't worry about that. But... These guys are going to be getting ready here for another matchup. Anything in particular that either Mads or Matei wants to watch out for with the other deck? Like, do you think they've, they've encountered now that they really want to be on guard for? I, I, think, I think Mads is going to be watching out. I mean, he knew he had a chance to look at the deck list. He knew that Matei had Feel Your Anger. And that one, the one turn, losing three dice, you... I don't know if there's anything he can do about it, but yes. you got to be careful about what you do about playing in. As he was sitting on a lot of dice in the tray at times, I think he's going to be making sure that if he's got any blanks, he's going to be resolving dice right away or pulling them out of the re-rolling. That's a great point. Uh, so Mike is playing David. That is Sabine and Ezra versus Ray Ayla. Brendan is playing Joe. Joe has Yoda Ezra, rookie pilot, kind of a support deck against Sabine and Ezra. And then Edwin, who we saw with Anakin Kylo, is playing a Seventh Sister, Night Sister, Sierra Ree, One Turn Kill deck. So that's a little update on what's going on on the other three tables. And that's a lot of what we expected to see, really at the high level competitive. Um, yes, I would say no super huge surprises here. Uh, I think a lot of people did think maybe you know one of those various flavors of Rebel Mill would make it in. Uh, and I know some of them did do very well, but not quite making the, cu the cut for top 16. And and that thrawn Talzin pairing was also another one that was really highly yes. touted, and we saw it, and yes. it was it was doing well, but just came short at the last step. Yep, yeah, absolutely. thrawn Talzin has proven it's got it's got the chops, but you know this is just not its event um, to contend here. So these guys going again with about 57 minutes on the clock still, up to two games left to play. So I believe Mads will get his choice of Battlefield. Oh, that's how it works. And uh, so will he, will he pick the Ewok Village again, or will he go for his own this time? Hmm. I mean, looking at I the speed of things, he, he was faster. I feel like I would take my own to keep Ray's ability active. No, nope. nope. he's going to go Ewok Village. The poor Ewoks. Well, so we're, we're having uh, a similar opening. <laughs> Making sure they're both ready before the first play comes out. Mad showing Luke's like saber and then double checking, <laughs> make sure everything's good. Uh, because Matei goes first. <laughs> and we have one damage from a saber so far. And again with the ID9 secret droid there as that or third die for the seventh sister. One melee from seventh sister, rather. Yeah, mill mill is the alternate win condition where you win if at the uh, upkeep phase your opponent has no cards in hand or deck. Uh, here we go. Now here's here's a slight change. Ooh. We see Matt uh, puts the lightsaber onto Ayla first. Luke's maybe, lightsaber, no less. Yeah, maybe possibly trying to, to bait 
Mate to go for the other character. Whereas last also round, he got the option to special chain all within the one roll there. So Ayla into the Luke's lightsaber, Luke's lightsaber special for either the shields or the unblockable damage. Right. But a, a tactical change from the last match. Yeah, I do agree. Uh, Mill is, is, could be very exhausting to play. And once we get into these best of three rounds and the timer, it can start to suffer on the tiebreakers there. So, yeah, he's so chipping away with Ray's ability on Seventh Sister already. Mads is convinced the Seventh Sister is the one to go after first. Uh, he's done that two games in a row now, gone after her first. Both <coughs> showing a special. Which Both makes it special. Uh, you do damage equal to the number showing another die of the table. So right now it's a one. There's no twos or threes showing. But if that Luke's lightsaber rolls out at a three, right. that becomes a great die. That's interesting. I don't believe we saw Matei play a single upgrade on Seven Sister in the last game. And again, he's going for no. the upgrades on Boba Fett first. And again, Mads is going for Seven Sister first. So that was hidden motive to remove the ancient lightsaber. Hidden motive, uh, probably the card that we've seen the most from Rivals, I'd say, other than the, maybe the Fang Fighter showing up in some of the support decks. Just a great zero cost conditional removal card. All right, and we see more melee coming through. And Bofet special now at two. Yeah, it's going to bumps up incrementally to be, oh, there we that's have some a, good specials. That's a good start. So now Ayla has the option to uh, chain her special into another one of her specials, Luke's mm -hmm. lightsaber. Change a bunch of Matei's dice, too. That's right. And and doing it without giving a three on Luke's lightsaber. Yeah, absolutely. Which that's that's a nice opening start. Both that special is is such a threat in certain matchups too. Like imagine the opponent has a resistance bomber, and like do they want to risk rolling out that big vehicle and having a six face show up? I don't. <laughs> Jeez. The the answer is no. <laughs> Not if you it's can a remove nightmare. the special. So what, what did we just see remove that special? Uh, he used the special to do two damage to Ayla. Uh, there you go. Then going to use Ayla special to blank uh, Boba and then change one of his own dice. He may changed have Ayla that. to a melee face. Oh. I guess maybe he's okay with raised shields right now. What, is, what does Mads have in his hand? Does he have a guard or something? Going to do two unblockable to the sister, and in his hand I see a guard. Yeah, a close that's quarters assault. And the force illusion, actually. Yes, here's prof er. Yeah, he wants that just in case a big roll comes out. But does not materialize, so he's able to just take the damage and save Guard for a future turn. Guard's a great, great removal card in a deck like this, but it's just a little slow. So if you're not claiming the battlefield, sometimes it comes out, you know, it's, it's not able to be played when you need it. Removing one die to remove three, it's hard to beat that. Yeah. And it's, and it's not limited to just damage dice. It's not limited to, to any certain, you know, character or upgrade die it's just your pick all right and mads claims with one shield on ray leaving two in the pool because of course if he gets those two then they just go away when mate claims so opening round this game very even not much to split between the two And now, with him rolling in first, he has a good chance of being able to guard when he needs it. Yep. I will happily trade away that lightsaber to shut down. Boba Fett, Seven Sister. Yeah, one of those characters' complete turns. And two specials on Ayla. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Don't ignore that. Yeah, you've got a lot of soft control there with Ayla's special as well. All right, so we have two... Two damage of focus. In a Does that just all get removed? You wait for Boba Fett. Uh, I would just. I think you wait for Boba Fett, or at least wait for him to 
to use the focus. Let the two yeah. let the two damage hit, remove other dice. Ah, plays the ancient. So he's gonna try and set up a big hit with those Ala specials to set up Ray's dice to exactly what he wants. Uh, no resources at the moment, so the guard is the best use for that lightsaber uh, until he gets some cash or can uh, focus it with Ayla. So now Matei, Matei is looking at his hand. He's looking at his options. Does he remember? Does he remember the guard in the deck list? I'm sure he must know. You've got to expect it to a certain extent. There's another damage. So Ayla's gone up to. Six damage, Seven Sisters up to five. Very possible to see uh, Seven Sister dead this turn. Less so Ayla just because of all the control that we know Mads has. What are you saying? Mads really wants, well, the, I mean the guard is, the guard and the uh, Force Illusion. And there's a close quarters over and in Mads' hand. Assault. He's really wanting him to roll Boba in. They both have close quarters. Uh, but Matei's got Matei won't get a chance to use his if he does roll melee. <laughs> what is Matei holding here that we're looking at? Another bait and switch. Yeah, he's he's got some options. I think he's I think he's weighing upgrade Boba Fett versus hold on to the the control. Did he just pass? I think he did. Synchronicity. Now things start to look very grim for Seventh Sister. So it's like when you pass, you, you hope you're passing to a newer game state that you can, right. you can I do mean something about. And that was just pass and then get... Matei's got to make a play here, teeth. otherwise uh, Seventh Sister, if she takes another point of damage, that Ayla chain can go into Luke's special, and that will be it. There's cross guard comes cross down. Cross guard saber. <coughs> if I'm Mads, I might just pass now. If I'm Mads, I think I use my ancient lightsaber to put that one damage on Seventh Sister. Continue to hold back. On sure, you could do that. Forty-eight minutes left here in this top eight best of three match. <laughs> the so chat remarking that these guys both have great Star Wars names. <laughs> Mads Mate. So if if he puts the one damage through, okay. Mm. First, get rid of the cards. Remove your opponent's options. That's a good good call. Yeah, do that before you use the card for the damage. And the Intimidate. That will uh, and Alter. So he's got a Bait and Switch and a Close Quarters Assault left. Matei wasn't going to be able to play Alter this round anyways, but that Intimidate was worth one health on that shield. And also shutting off Ray's ability, unless he you know, takes more shields. Yeah, oh, I think here's where we see special. the guard. Yeah. Slap that thing down so hard it smoke. Come on, you can do it. Or is he looking at Ayla? Or no, there it is. Nope, guards all three of those. Yeah. Yoink. That's painful for Matei. <laughs> Lot of damage taken off the table there. That was, what? The three, up at to least. Eight. Five. Yeah. Up to eight. Could have been a dead Ayla. And you're going to lose your last card there, but with Ayla special, that's not a big deal. So Matei has one card <laughs> left. So... Blank... The Focus. Blank the Ancient. Go to full damage on Ray. Kill the sister and start on Boba. I... Yeah, I, I don't know. You you don't want to hold on to it too long here. The shields, 
Matei is running out of options it, on this it, round. It leaves so Matei the chance to re-roll into damage, yes, but it's one card. Well, no, he's running out of options, so he's going to he's gonna claim and remove shields. So you're going to... You're not going to have shields. Hey, look at that. And he's holding uh, another. <laughs> there Wait we for go. the re-roll. Would you like to focus <laughs> it into a blank? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, KG play there by Mads. Uh, some of these plays, you just you just Make feel crushed, crushed when you know that they just read that you want a choice, and I'm going to sit on one damage on my uh, backup muscle, or I'm going to sit on mm -hmm. one focus on, or one special on Ayla. So just he's showing the damage here to do. just dispense with uh, Seventh Sister. So forcing the focus to a what? Just a one melee? Which will then get blanked anyways, and Seventh Sister still dies. And he's got he's got one shield. I mean, all right, cool. You go to that, and now you kill her. I I think that's just try to, to remove. It. Well, I think it's try to remove. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Seventh Sister's out. He's gonna put two more damage on uh, Boba Fett too. Nice play. So he's going to end this round with two damage on Boba Fett, Ayla, and Ray still alive. And both with lightsabers. Both armed. So Mads, Mads changing from the last game, coming in and not trying to go big on Ray right away. Tried to draw that to Ayla. And paying off for him, apparently. Yeah, and, and Mate has gone after Ayla initially, <laughs> which you look at that, Ray's got the ancient lightsaber. If she sticks around with shields, just starts plinking away at Boba Fett. This is where where Mads has stuck with his tactics and, and Matea has changed them. All right. Oh, Matea is looking what if he wants to pass, if he wants to claim. Looks like we are okay, hearing that are. Uh, Mike Gem did beat uh, David Hausnacht, so you've got the vehicles advancing. Okay, so Matea had claimed and, uh, and no, Mads is... Mike Gem running Ezra Bridger. Sorry. Ezra Ma Mate had claimed, and, and uh, Mads was just weighing a shield versus the damage. Anyone for the damage, it looks like? Yes, he did. Uh, Mike Gem, he will play the winner of the Edwin and Johnson Go game. So Mike Gem playing Sabine Ezra. Going to face off against either Anakin... Kylo. All right, Mate has a Boba Fett special showing again, which is a nice counter threat to anything you're going to see. And we have Ray's lightsaber over Luke's lightsaber here. Gives a shield to Ayla. Makes it a little harder to take her out. He's also, also got a synchronicity, force speed, destiny, caution. That's it. Also what? Oh, also reduces the chance of three damage coming back at you ever so slightly. Yes. And here, Mate discards to reroll, and I didn't see what he discarded. But two both had specials. Ooh, that's uh, that's dangerous. I mean, if a three comes up, that's that is a dead Ayla. That's a dead dead Ayla. And of course, he can still hunt for the, the plus three on his own ancient lightsaber. Yes. Control-wise, there's just not a lot of it for Mads. Not before he rolls his dice. He has that guard, but he has to roll in. Was that if uh, guard or is it synchronicity? I thought I saw a guard. It could be both. Feel your anger showing in Mate's hand again. Force illusion looked like. And we do have a bait and switch. And so there, he can there get is the three if he wants it. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, it's a plus two. It's a plus two, yeah. And that would be one off. So there is no guard. That's a synchronicity. So I don't. he doesn't really have any removal. He's got caution, but he doesn't have the dice in the pool to keep Ayla alive with that. Bait and switch. Three special? Three specials. No, Kylo special. And that'll do it. If he wants to. And then yeah, do the two. two and so, then yeah, two that's again. a dead Ayla. Yep. 
and then sit on the other special. You you don't want Boba Fett having a special against you when you have to roll in. No, no. It it can be. It, there's certain decks where it's really bad, especially the support decks. You've got so many dice with big numbers, and you're just feeding him these these dice. Now, uh, here's the other reason that we overwrote Luke's lightsaber with Ray's lightsaber is it redeployed. And we have a force speed coming in. Force illusion on Boba Fett. So no shield on Ray, so no ping for the damage there, which I'm sure Mads would love to see. Uh, we do have the special on the force speed, which uh, Mads is pretty happy with, I imagine. And there's three damage. Yeah, if you guys are just coming in, keep in mind this is a top top 16 or top 8 cut here for World Championships. A standard game. There's a synchronicity doing two d unblockable damage. Standard game of Destiny is 35 minutes, so it's much faster um, you know, and a little bit less involved. But you are watching the best of the best here battle it out, so they play a best of three. And Mate up in the first game. Taking the first game, and here it's still... Raised lightsaber was redeploy, so I think you only get those shields when you play it. Right? Well, as Mads didn't claim a shield, I imagine so, yeah. Yeah, it's after, after you play, play this upgrade, give attached character one shield. So here, did <coughs> we just see the force speed to go into the reroll? Try to throw through a whole lot of melee damage. That is just needs what a we base saw. And, doesn't and that get will it. not do it. And tries again. Which is good. Ooh, there we go. Which is good for oh Mads. Man. Mads, because Mate was holding a feel your anger. You must have saw those blanks and it just about salivated there. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, feel your anger. Instead, and instead we're looking at uh, is that eight damage. Are these French cards? That does not look like uh, Binds All Things. Awesome to see all the international players here. All right, so... So this is a problem. Matei has no dice in the pool. Big problem for Matei. <laughs> Just a nice little delay action. That'll be for the Ancient Lightsabers if he can use it. I mean, he's... He's got one in there, and then he's going right? to... Eight damage. Uh, to Plus go down four. To two. That's 12. Well, he's going he's gonna to use his Ancient Lightsaber, isn't he? Wait, why did he didn't not do he, that? Didn't he need did to do that his last action? Uh, no, he has a Force Illusion. Okay. He's yes. gonna remove three yes. of that. Sorry. <coughs> Easy to uh to miss sometimes. And here. One of these many different effects. Wait, are waiting for Mads to re resolve each one one in a row. There. So the two and the plus three, of course. Yeah. Taken all on the force illusion. That's got a sting though. A lot of cards gone there. Whole turns worth. Yeah, you'll you'll gladly accept a loss of a turn. Gladly accept accept a loss of a, a turn's worth of game. cards to stay in the game. Uh, so we've got uh, four. So seven health remaining on Ray. Four on Boba Fett. That is what we are looking at. Mate will be activated. Still an first. ancient lightsaber on Boba Fett too, so <laughs> yeah. can heal up if he needs to. Claimed for that first activation, I imagine. So close quarters, feel your anger mall's lightsaber we're seeing for Mate. Kenobi's lightsaber. Worse illusion. I expect we'll see that force illusion sometime <laughs> this round. Overconfidence in another ancient. So he's got uh, some pretty good sustain for uh, Ray here if it comes to it. Now the question is, how many bow fed specials do we see? Zero at the moment. Well, that's a good start. Two damage from that. Uh, the cross, cross guard, guard. cross guard saber, saber special. Yes. Let's see, but I don't see. I don't know if he played both of his bait and switch. There's one sitting on the top of the deck. We saw him discard one, so play one, one discarded. That uh, resource on Boba Fett is a resource. So do you want to overwrite anything on Ray here, or do you just want to roll in? 
Well, I imagine that the overwrite will be the force illusion. Uh, so I would roll in. Force speed will get overwritten if need be. Yeah. Or we'll just do it right away, right now with something. Yeah, put the Shoto. That'll turn her ability back on, hopefully. There you go. I didn't see the Shoto. So actually it will, because Shoto will trigger, and then you can trigger her ability. Right. So you free damage out of that. When you have those activated triggers, choose the order if you're the active player. Of course, no extra action, because this is the new ray, not the original flavor ray. I wonder if we even saw... Uh, Awakening's Ray? Awakening's Ray. We did see it Thursday, uh, Zach Bud running Han Ray. Um, but he did not make it to the top 16. I'm not even sure he made it to day two. But yeah, not a lot of original Ray showing right. up these days. Yeah, This Ray from the, the two-player starter. So and it's two one, one of the interesting things is that the Kylo and the Ray from two-player starter continue to be super strong. Yeah, and, and actually we saw... Phasma show up with Boba in the, our sec our day two as well. So they was there, was there any other two player starter Poe showing up in day two? There was a Ray Poe list at least, and I imagine that was the one. Here, Mate re rolls. He gets <coughs> a couple of damage on uh, range damage on Boba Fett. Overconfidence. I take one of those two dice off the table. The lower one has to go. All right. So Mate's dice are getting whittled down. He's not showing a lot right now. Um, and Ray has yet to dump that pile in there. In fact, even with max damage, he cannot kill Ray this turn. And, and Ray is sitting on an Ancient to heal if he needs to. All right. Now we're seeing special on the cross guard. So we've got our first top four match decided. It's going to be Mike Gem versus Edwin so that's going to be Ezra, Sabine, Sabine versus yes. Kylo and Anakin. That'll be our one of our two top four matches. Both of those decks just focus on doing lots of damage fast. Yes. Now both of them went two and zero oh against their opponents. So nice, solid entry into the win. We're down to only thirty three minutes here, only on game two. So game three is going to be a short one if it goes to it. We're still a ways away from resolving this one. Feel your anger. Remove one. Yep. Ancient link server for. Removing three damage is a big play right now. Yeah, still very possible for Ray to get the kill, but needs to get that damage. And what do we see in Matt's hand right now? Still a force solution, still close quarters. Yeah, he's got some good options. He's gonna go ahead up and go ahead and heal up right now though. Yeah. Makes room for the force illusion, makes room for the other ancient if he wants to play it. Absorb some damage from. Healed up. Took the damage back, okay. He really just wants to end it here. Does not want to go, and he wants to have you know time for this last game because if Mads wins, you know he needs to win the last game too. And unfortunately, Matei just kind of on the defensive here. There's a force illusion. So it's never it's never fun to see your your plus three damage modifier pulled out, but. Sometimes it's a blessing in disguise when you also want to use that lightsaber <laughs> to heal. <laughs> Makes the decision a little bit easier, that's to be sure. Yeah. This is a peace of mind. Like, should I remove my lightsaber and heal? Well, the die is out. So yes. that was a uh, lightsaber pull to pull the Ancient back out to keep Boba in this game so longer. So it's not on Boba Fett yet. It is yep. waiting to play. And then rest of his deck, what little is left, shuffled here by uh, his opponent. I don't know how many cards that is, but I imagine that's enough to see out however much it takes for this game to be decided. <coughs> Close card is remove one card, Ooh. and it hits an ancient lightsaber. That's got to be a little painful. Now, yeah. Mads wants to sit on this shield until after the damage is dealt, so he can have Ray's ability. Well, he's going to have it either way with the Shoto. 
Yeah, so he, well, he's waiting. He's hoping that Mate is going to claim as well. That too. So that he can have the shield on at the beginning of the round. What he really wants to do is he wants to re-roll that shot. Well, does he have any cards left in his hand? No. Yeah, he, he uh, close quarters assault took the last one. All right. Oh, he's he's weighing if he wants to use the force illusion, or if the risk of losing an important card is too high. So, he's decided it's worth it to take that damage. And go right in mm -hmm. the next round. There so he's just going to claim. Well, he's got the Shoto, so he can get the one damage mm -hmm. through, but he needs two. Now he could potentially need four. He, well, six. There's two Ancients now. Oh, yes. And there goes one right now. Heal. I imagine he's going to. Is he going to use the other one as well right now? <coughs> he's going to keep one on. Keeps one. And he untaps his, his uh, fallen seventh sister, too. Just in case. Just in case. So, let's see. Got to do... You need to count on doing six damage to Boba Fett, which is possible, but it's going to take a pretty good roll. We've got... Well, uh, he doesn't like you. Another Force Illusion. You're going to get one through. You need three da or five damage from dice showing. So it's it's worse than that. There's a oh another right, force illusion, two he doesn't like you's, and a doubt in that in Matei's hand. That's a pretty good control suite to shut down whatever big rolls right, here we go. Mads can lay out. Did he just no, he just took the damage. Sub thirty minutes here. Yeah, Matei's got all the reason to play this one out and see what he can get from it. If he can win this, it's over. They don't need to worry about time on a third game. Whereas Mads has to be thinking about that. Both had special, and we're showing four damage on melee. So yeah, both had special uh, as a three right now. Yeah, and what did you say you saw in, in Mads' hand? Uh, Mads, I was not seeing. Matei has some great control options. Mads has an heirloom there. He's going to have to toss for oh, the reroll. Oh, he's re going for the reroll. So we're going to get some of this damage from... We have five. He's got five. Which <coughs> so that forces the other heal, which is... Or it for actually that forces... Oh, he's checking his deck to see if he has enough to force illusion this. Forcing the heal now is huge. Getting rid of that three damage. Also turning off Bubba special from being a three. Actually, it's still a three. There's still rays over there. Or remove a die. He doesn't like you. There we go. And now it's currently zero damage. Even better for Matei. And put the Force Illusion down again. So I imagine Matei like would like to resolve that melee fairly soon and then heal as long as he's safe to do so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because that plus three is a Mateus really got to be nice very short on the deck now with the big force illusion from earlier. For five, yeah. We're down to just 27 minutes. Mad's weighing what, guard? I think that's a hidden motive. Is he uh, oh. No, that's a force misdirection, but he's also going to guard. He's going to guard. Guard just shut down the offense of uh, Matei another turn. Is Mads playing mill this game? <laughs> he, he may not know it yet, but he maybe he is. <coughs> so still plenty of good control there. What do you want to use? There's the force solution. Played for free with it binds all things. Yeah, right, and he, he went for the discard. The other thing to consider is that uh, these guys are going to go right into whoever wins. Going to go right into a top four game after another grueling, you know, full distance game here. Yeah, whoever that wears wins, on you a little whoever bit. Whoever wins and from the grueling match is going to be thrilled to get into the top four for another round. <laughs> <laughs> so Shoto and overconfidence, or doubt, Shoto and doubt showing in Matei's hand. Um. 
Short on doubt, do you overwrite like the cross guard or or heal and then play you the shoto? You heal and play the shoto. So you're about to hit your ancients again when you hit the bottom of your deck. And oh. you can just recycle those to keep healing. Did not did not heal this turn. So he claimed, does he not remove the shields? He did, did seems not, to have uh, forgotten. Didn't seems seem to not. indicate that at all. I think that is a mistake. Maybe not a huge one, but it's one more damage you have to do. Well, <coughs> he's looking at he's looking at a wall and and uh, looking at his hand to see what he can do. Just missed the text on that. That happens. Rolling in. You get focused on very limited range things because you're super focused on on what you have in front Certainly. of you. All right, and here comes one to Boa Fett. So is there, I think there's only like one deck, le one card left in Matei's deck. Well, that's enough to prevent the one damage that he's looking at. So he's got another ancient back. He's got. He should have. He should right? have. Well, unless that was the last card. That I mean, could it be the ancient is the bottom of the deck. No. <laughs> All right. For solutioning the two there. Keeping the shields on. So three damage. <coughs> so here, Mads makes a play. Their four solution. He's gonna end up getting rid of the <laughs> gets rid of that last light, ancient lightsaber. That was a smart play. So Matei down to five cards in hand, none in his deck. He's able to put that ancient on the bottom of his deck. There's three damage. So he gets one. It's man, that's close. Mads with a lot more options at this point. Absolutely. Okay, now Ooh. we've been seeing feel your anger. He's been waiting for that. Oh. Did he? I think he used it. That reroll got mad to nowhere. He's going with the. Uh, now does he? Back of muscle. He only drew one of them. The other one presumably got discarded from the top of the deck. You're talking about the ancient? No, the the backup muscle. Oh. What, they were huge last Probably, game. Probably, yes. Four, four or five damage last game? Four he damage. these really. base damage sides. That is not what he... Discarding right, force so misdirection, and there is some base damage. Right, so that's where we're going <laughs> to see Hidden Motive. Hidden Motive for Melee. That one's in still, but he has to reroll into it again. Plays a Shoto. Just going to go into the next turn. <laughs> Man, 22 and a half minutes left. This is going to be it's going to be very very short game. So, <coughs> Mate has to heal because otherwise if he claims then then Ray activates and that's the last damage. Cuz she'll get yes. the shield. Yeah, he cannot go into the So he's got to heal. The next so turn. that takes away some damage potential initially, although he's going to draw it. But he has to activate. He has his options are narrowing. He has to go in with Boa Fett to activate first. Oh, he gets to play a shuttle. And well, that's one less card in his hand. He's got. He's going to have two but cards he'll also total. Be he'll be able to get a shield because he has a cross card as well. Uh, theoretically, uh, here we have. Three damage showing. This, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So he, he needs a way to remove some damage, or that is it. So doubt. Doubt is the he answer. Can doubt that, and that's his only. Doubting raised he's got dice doubt, is he's got the doubt only Ray. option. Yep. Yeah, there's a resource. Yep. That was That was a play he needed. So now he has a turn to play his. Wow. Oh, altar. 
I don't think he has. I don't think he has a play here. And they move on to yep, the. He's going to scoop yeah, he's and go on to the next round. Try and get into game three. They're here one and one. They got 20 minutes. They played both these games and average over 30 minutes, and they're going to have <laughs> to either play fast to resolve this one naturally, or it's going to be a, a tiebreaker. At yeah, the end. I, I think with only 20 minutes left here in your third game, you've really got to watch that clock and play for damage. Um, that's going to be key. Yeah. The, the tiebreaker is damage done, so you're going to have to shift your priorities just a little bit where usually it's, you know, knock out the character, but no, we saw now it's really put the damage we on. We saw the first game, Mate went after Mads' Ray. Second game, he went after Ayla right away because in the second game, Mads put Luke's lightsaber on Ayla first thing. Yeah, kind of I think, I think Mate goes back to going after Ray first. Stick with what worked before? Yeah. I think Mads goes to upgrading Ayla again first. We will see, though. <coughs> of course, you know, it helps if you just roll 8, 11 damage on yes. your, your first roll. Yeah, Beacon Fire, you know, talking about the potential for whoever is up, snow, slow playing, but the problem is a big roll can swing things so quickly that if you burn too much time, that could end up hurting you just as easily as it, as it could helping you. Look at these guys are both just both focused. Uh, they've both taken one loss. No time is short. And If you guys are just tuning in because you saw the stream on the front page of Twitch, this is Star Wars Destiny. It's a collectible card and dice game from Fantasy Flight Games. This is the top eight of the world championships currently going on. And we have, again, if you just came in, we have Matei from Canada and Mads from Denmark. Uh, Matei is running Elite Bofet, Elite Seven Sister. Mads is running Elite Ray, Elite Ayla. Uh, classic heroes versus villains matchup. Elite just means two of their dice instead of one. With uh, all the named characters, you can generally pick to do one or two. Uh, there is one copy of Maul's lightsaber in that Boba 7th deck. So you just haven't seen it come up all that often. And we do have our other top four game decided. Joe Cologne has won 2-0 against Brendan DeVitt. So... Joe moving on with that kind of hybrid vehicles deck. And and we've got three of the top four figured out, and the last one's going to happen here on the stream. And whoever wins here is going to be playing against Joe Correct. in the next match. All right. And we have the Ewok Village again. Yep, consistent if nothing else. Oh, and that is a big Shields roll for from days. Mads. Oh, man. <laughs> He's got to be pretty happy with that. Starts off with the two shields on Ayla, knowing he's going to be able to play it on Ray, and get two shields there, too. And he's just done. Oh, he reaped the crystal for that? Okay. Just done six damage to Seven Sister to open That's up. That's a great opening for Mads and the kind of speed he's going to need to to get this game done. That's also not bad. And then you talk about over time things average out. Mads is, uh, rolls from that first round of the first game where he came up with a lot of blanks and no damage faces and Mate just... Ooh, hammered him. Now now Mate is looking at the opposite end of this as yeah. Mads just rolled straight damage and Mate needs to re-roll for some. So he's got two damage power. showing, but man, way down on the race with that roll. But that improved significantly, although we're gonna see the special come in and So blank the two down to a one. That also hurts Boba's special, although not really, because you also went to a two on your own die. All right, so now Mads just claimed very quickly. Uh, that leaves Mate the whole. How many cards do you left, Nad? One? Well, that's a reroll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Painful. 
What I mean, what a contrast there. Six damage. Oh, wait. oh he didn't he didn't re-roll with that. No, he, he, he didn't. played the close quarters. Emptied the hand. Six damage versus one on Ray. And again, the Ancient goes down on Boba Fett to keep him in the game longer. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen Mate play an upgrade on Seven Sister yet in this. And I mean, partially because she's just been focused down so quickly, you know it's throwing good money after bad if you uh try and help her out. Force speed. Okay, here we have <laughs> the heirloom, but that has redeploy. And now Obi-Wan's lightsaber as oh. well. These ladies are going to swing for the fences here. That's uh, that's some damage. Is that a two and a one? That's what it looks like. It's and some disrupts. Not going to do a lot, sister. but there comes three more damage out of Ayla. And plenty more potential with rerolls. All right, what's he looking at? He's got an intimidator in his hand. He can rid of the shield. He doesn't like here. Yeah, that's the right play. I mean, with the damage as a tiebreaker, you need to get every damage die out that you can. And then hit a motive on the heirloom and get nice. rid of. Nice. Throw two damage back at him. Another close quarters. Uh, so life totals, you've got 10 health and two shields on Ayla. You've got 10 health left on Ray, 11 health left on Boba Fett, and only four on the Seventh Sister. Two Boba Fett specials. Uh, what do you see in, in Mads' hand here when, we, when he shows it? So Mate has one uh, card left. Force Illusion and an Heirloom. That's it. But, I mean, I, I'm expecting to see at least one reroll out there. Yeah, it's just two Boba Fett specials. Oh, gotta threatening. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be aware of that. And that's a solid roll. So he's got no removal to deal with the specials, but he's going to go for it. Everything. That worked out okay for him. Two shields. That's still two damage each. Yeah, and he can force speed and just resolve, resolve, then be able to claim and hold on to his shields. <coughs> he has one card left, Mads. Mads should only have the one card. That is a force illusion. Probably wants to sit on that just in so case. So you're looking at it in Matei's perspective as he's considering his option here. What happens when the four speed comes out? He's going to four speed, re-roll, Your resolve. Your specials become a one. Oh. So he's hoping that he's going to be able to survive hey. the re-roll. There That's we go. the question. So, you're so that's, that got some serious mileage out of your Boba special. Bumping them both up to a three. So four speed to a reroll, and then drop seventh sister. Heirloom goes over. So that was the no. first upgrade played on seventh sister. So Boba Fett's gonna not be able to get the plus three, but he's gonna get six damage off. He gets six damage out, which is very, very good still. But he's got his work cut out for him. As uh, Ayla now has two shields, full health, two upgrades. Ray's got. Seven. She's still at four health remaining. And the Ray's lightsaber is going to redeploy to Ayla uh, when Ray does die. Ayla Sakura wielding both the legendary lightsabers of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ray. That is a solid roll. Specials. <coughs> Uh, 10 damage dealt to 7th Sister for purposes of the tiebreaker. We're down to just over 11 minutes. We've got only 7 damage dealt to Mads' squad so far. So now he... Now he did discard that uh, 
that um, Force Illusion, which, given the tiebreaker, may be risky. Did he over... What did he do? Oh, cautioned. Ooh, nice. The Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber special, you get a shield and then do unblockable damage equal to the number of shields you have. So three damage on Boba Fett, putting him up at now 14 four damage speed. ahead. And then removing two with the guard. Youch. Really throwing some barricades up in the way of the Intimidate. Intimidate to strip intimidate. all the shields. Two indirect... Uh, which is putting just up, yeah, two damage. There's there's nobody else. So it's putting up to, what, 16 damage to 7? Mad's looking very good right now. <coughs> Mad still has a close quarters assault, a destiny, and... and Mate's got a force illusion and bait and switch. An ancient lightsaber, it looks and like. And loses his bait and switch, which is not the card he wanted to lose. He's going to go ahead and claim, strip those shields. So he stripped six shields this turn. Not bad as far as things go. But he is definitely losing this race. The Force Mist or the Force Illusion and Ancient means you know, Bubba's going to be in this fight for a while, but that is a lot of damage coming his way. Well, he's going to be in the fight for about nine minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> If he can hold out that long. I see not a lot of control here from Mads, though. A lot of weapons. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't need that much control until <laughs> the rerolls come in. <coughs> yeah, this should just be the... Ooh, man. That is big. So what do we have That's six damage with a four speed. That's enough to not end it because of the force illusion and the... Uh, yeah, and that's that's Ancient. how Matea is looking at this because he just went. If he had any removal in his hand, he didn't use it. He's going in for. He needs to deal the damage back. So he's showing two damage now. He's going to roll in first and try and do it all at once. And I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Right? We can do. It all depends on the way he assigns this damage. And there's four. He has to do the. He has to stop the four, and then he's going to take another four, and that'll and do it. two more for a finisher. Yeah. That's, That's it. Game. Mads Utsen of Denmark making it into the top four as the only non-U.S. competitor to crack that. Up with uh, Mike Gem, Edwin Chen, Joe Cologne, and, of course, Mads. So Mads is going to face Joe. Yes. And then Joe is running that kind of hybrid vehicle deck. Mike's running Ezra. And Sabine and Edwin with Kylo and Anakin. So actually, four different decks in the top four. Uh, pretty good variety in our top eight, even. I think we've seen some great Destiny players.